Hi, today we're going to be learning how to solve problems with common fractions that involve mixed operations. First, let's just remind you about the order of operations that you need to use when you are solving problems that have mixed operations. The very first thing you're going to do is if there are brackets in your question, you need to make sure that you do any calculations inside the brackets first. Next, you're going to do exponents. And once you've done the exponents, you go on to division and multiplication, and then you do addition and subtraction. Remember, your division and multiplication go together, and your addition and subtraction go together as well. And this makes bed mass to help you to remember the order of operations. Now, remember, if you've got multiple things that are happening inside the brackets, you need to make sure you apply bed mass inside the brackets as well. Okay, so if you've got inside the brackets, more brackets, and if you've got inside the brackets exponents and division and multiplication and addition and subtraction, you need to make sure that you do those calculations inside the brackets in the correct order as well. Okay, so let's go and look at our first example. Okay, so this is quite a complicated one to start off with, just to show you a whole lot of different things that you can encounter. Okay, so in this question, we've got 5 over 6 squared divided by 1 and 2 thirds cubed minus 12 over 25 times 5 over 3 plus a half squared, and that was all in brackets, then divide by a half. Okay, so the very, th the very first thing we're going to do with this question is we need to make sure that we convert any mixed numbers to improper fractions. Okay, so I've got over here 5 over 6 squared divided by 1 and 2 thirds cubed minus 12 over 25 times 5 over 3 plus a half squared divided by a half. Okay, so that's our whole question. Now, as I said, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert anything that is a mixed number to improper fractions before we start with our actual calculations. So we're going to have everything else staying the same except for this, we're going to convert to an improper fraction. So 1 times 3 is 3 plus 2 is 5, so that's 5 over 3 cubed. And everything else is just going to stay as it is for now because I'm, at the moment, just working on converting things to uh, improper fractions. Making sure that I don't have any mixed numbers left. Okay, so now that I've done that, my next thing is to go and do my order of operations. Now in this case, I have got brackets. There I've got brackets, but there's no calculations inside there. So I'm not going to be doing anything with that yet. Same thing with this one. Here I've got brackets that have calculations inside. So this I have to do first. And remember I said that when you've got calculations inside brackets, you have to apply bed mass inside the brackets as well. So inside these brackets, I need to see what must I do first. Do I have brackets inside the brackets with calculations inside that I need to do? So here I've got brackets inside the brackets, but there's no calculations that I need to do. So I'm going to go on to the next step in bed mass, which is exponents. So I'm going to simplify this exponent inside here. Okay, so I've got 5 over 6 squared divided by 5 over 3 cubed. That's not changing for now. I'm just going to be doing the exponent inside here. So everything else stays the same. Then over here, a half squared becomes plus 1 over 4. Remember when we are applying an exponent to a fraction, we do the top and the bottom. So it's going to be plus a quarter. And then divide that by a half outside the brackets. Okay, so now I've done the exponent part of bed mass inside my brackets. Now I'm going to go on to the next part of bed mass, which is division and multiplication. Now inside the brackets over here, I've got multiplication to worry about. So everything else is going to stay unchanged for now. And over here, I'm going to multiply those together. Okay, so I'm going to simplify what I can. 3 goes in here once, 3 goes in there 4 times, 5 goes in there 5 times, 5 goes in there once. So my multiplication of those fractions gives me 4 over 5. Plus a quarter divided by a half outside the brackets. Okay, so now I've done my multiplication and division step inside the brackets. Now I'm going to do my addition and subtraction inside the brackets. So I've got 5 over 6 squared divided by 5 over 3 squared. Again, those aren't changing for now. That's just going to stay exactly as it is until I get to that. Now I'm going to go and do my addition and subtraction. Remember when you're adding and subtracting fractions, you need to find the LCD, the lowest common denominator. So for 5 and 4, my LCD is 20. So I'm going to change this to something over 20. 
plus this is also something over 20. Okay, I must multiply 5 by 4 to get 20, so I'm going to multiply my numerator by 4 as well, giving me 16. Over here, I'm going to multiply 4 by 5 to get 20, so I'm going to multiply my numerator by 5, giving me 5 over 20. And then I'm going to divide that by a half. Okay, out of the brackets. Now that I've done that, I can go and simplify those fractions over there, that addition. So that's going to be 5 over 6 squared divided by 5 over 3 squared, or cubed, this is supposed to be cubed over here. Okay, and then over here, I'm now going to be able to simplify this. So 16 over 20 plus 5 over 20 gives me 21 over 20. Remember, when we are adding and subtracting, once we've found the LCD, we add and subtract the numerators, and the denominator stays the same. So the 20 is not changing. It's 16 plus 5 is 21 over 20 stays the same. And then divided by a half. Okay, so now I don't need to put those in brackets anymore because now I've simplified what's inside the brackets there. The next thing I'm going to do, now that I've sorted out my brackets, the next step in bed mass is exponents. So now I'm going to go and simplify these exponents over here. So 5 over 6 squared is 25 over 36, divided by 5 over 3 cubed is 125 over 27. Okay, so now I've done my exponents. These are still staying the same for now. The next thing in bed mass is, a, is multiplication and division. So here I'm going to be going on my division. Now remember, when you are dividing fractions, we need to tip and times. So I'm going to take the 25 over 36, and I'm going to change this, times, this divide sign to a time sign and flip this over. Tip it, and it becomes 27 over 125 minus. Then here I also have division. So I'm going to take the 21 over 20, that stays the same, but here I'm going to change this to times and tip that over. It becomes 2 over 1. So now I've got 25 over 36 times 27 over 125 minus 21 over 20 times 2 over 1. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify the multiplication here and the multiplication here. Now remember when it's, I've got a minus over here, I can't cancel things over here with things over there because these are not being multiplied. So these are separate. I have to keep them separate. Okay. Please don't start cancelling things on this side with things on that side. It's not going to work. Okay, so now I'm going to go and do my simplification. So let's see what I can simplify. 25 and 125 are both divisible by 25. 25 goes in there once and 25 goes in there five times. Then 36 and 27 are both divisible by 9. 36 divided by 9 is 4 and 27 divided by 9 is 3. So for this over here, I end up with 1 times 3, which is 3, over 4 times 5, which is 20. The next thing I'm going to do is this multiplication over here. So now I need to go and see what can I simplify in these two fractions. When I'm multiplying over here, 2 goes in there once, 2 goes in there 10 times, and I can't simplify anything else. So that's going to give me minus 21 times 1, over 10 times 1 is 10. Okay, so now I've got a fraction minus another fraction. Now that I'm going to go and do the, the subtraction, I need to find an LCD again. The LCD for these two fractions is 20. So I need to change both of these to something over 20. So I've got over here, 3 over 20 doesn't change because it's already over 20. But this one, I need to multiply the 10 by 2 to get 20. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by 2 as well, giving me 42 over 20. So now I've got 3 over 20, minus 42 over 20, and that gives me also over 20. I have a smaller number minus a bigger number, so it's going to be negative. And then 3 minus 42 is going to be 30, negative 39. Now this minus can go in front of the 39, up at the top in the numerator, or I can put it in front of the whole fraction. I prefer to put it in front of the whole fraction because the whole term is actually negative, but it doesn't matter which way around you do it. Okay, and that's what you should get for that question. Now we're going to go on to some that you're going to do for yourself. The first one you're going to do is this one over here. We've got 5 over 4 squared minus a half cubed. And I'm going to give you one minute to work on this question.
Okay, so let's see what you got for that question. So over here, I've got 5 over 4 squared minus a half cubed. I don't have in this question any calculations to do inside the brackets. So I'm going to go on to exponents. So over here, 5 over 4 squared becomes 25 over 16 minus a half cubed is going to become 1 over 8. So that's what I should get after I do my exponents. Then in bed mass, the next thing is division and multiplication. In this question, there is no division and multiplication. So I'm going to go on to the last step, which is addition and subtraction. So over here, for my addition and subtraction, I need to find my LCD. The LCD for these two fractions is 16. So it's going to have, I'm going to have something over 16 minus something over 16. So that's going to stay 25 over 16. But this one, I need to multiply 8 by 2. So I'm going to multiply the top by 2 as well, giving me 2 over 16. So now I've got 25 over 16 minus 2 over 16. I keep the denominator the same, and I subtract the, the numerators, giving me 23. So that's what you should have got for question A is 23 over 16. Right, question B. Over here you've got 2 and 2 thirds minus 4 and a third in brackets divided by 1 and 3 quarters. I'm going to give you two minutes to work on this question. Okay, so let's go through that question. So first of all, when you get a question like this, you need to convert any mixed numbers to improper fractions. So I'm going to start off by changing the 2 and 2 thirds by saying 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So that's 8 over 3 minus, then 4 and a third, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13 over 3. Divided by, here I've got 1 and 3 quarters, 1 times 4 is 4 plus 3 is 7. So that's what you should have got first by converting everything to improper fractions. Then we're going to go and work out anything that's inside the bracket. So over here I've got 8 over 3 minus 13 over 3, that is subtraction. There's no multiplication and division, there's no exponents inside the brackets. So I'm going to go straight onto my, my subtraction inside the brackets. And when I do this, I need to make sure that the denominators are the same. In this case, they are already the same, so I can just subtract them straight away. So that's 8 minus 13 is negative 5 over 3. The denominator stays the same, and I subtract the numerators, divided by 7 over 4. Now, once I've got that, I need to go and do my next step, which in this case, there's, the only thing left is the multiplication division step, which is division over here. Now remember, when you are dividing fractions, you need to tip in times. So that's going to be 5 over 3 times 4 over 7. Now I'm going to go and see if there's anything that I can simplify. When I multiply these together, if there's any common factors, then I can simplify them. I can cancel them out. 
3 and 4, I can't simplify anything there. 5 and 7, I can't simplify anything there. 5 and 3 and 4 and 7, I also can't. So I can't do any simplification in this question. So I'm going to go straight ahead and multiply. Remember when we multiply, we multiply our numerators together. We multiply our denominators together. So it's going to be negative because it's negative, negative times positive. And then 5 times 4 is 20 over 3 times 7 is 21. And that's all you can do in that question. Right, question C. Here we have got 3 over 8 divided by 1 and a half minus 2 thirds times a quarter. I'm going to give you two minutes again for this question. Okay, so let's go through that question. So over here, we had 3 eighths divided by 1 and a half minus 2 thirds times a quarter. The first thing we're going to do is change this 1 and a half to an improper fraction. So that's going to be 3 eighths divided by, and then 1 and a half is the same as 3 over 2, minus 2 over 3 times a quarter. Okay, now bed mass says anything that's inside brackets needs to be done first. There are no brackets here. Then exponents, there are no exponents here. So we're going to go on to our division and multiplication step. For division and multiplication, I first look and see over here I've got division. When I'm dividing fractions, I remember I have to tip in times. So I'm going to change this to 3 over 8 times 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3 times a quarter. This one isn't changing because it was already multiplication, but this one I had to tip in times. Now we're going to go and simplify anything that we can. Remember, these are separate from each other. If there's a minus in between or a plus in between, I can't cancel things out from here to there and from here to there. I have to cancel out only the things that are being multiplied together and over here the things that are being multiplied together. So I'm going to say 3 and 3 can simplify. 3 goes in there once and 3 goes in there once. 2 and 8 can simplify. 2 goes in there once. 2 goes in there four times. But I can't cancel anything here with anything over there. Okay, then over here I've got 2 and 4. 2 goes in there once, 2 goes in there twice, and the 1 and the 3 I can't do anything with. Right, so now I'm going to go and multiply together. Over here I've got 1 times 1 is 1 over 4 times 1 is 4 minus. Then over here I've got 1 times 1 is 1 over 3 times 2 is 6. Once I've got that, I need to now go and do my next step in our, my bed mass, which is addition and subtraction. Now, when I do the addition and subtraction step, remember with fractions, we have to find the LCD. So the LCD for 4 and 6 is 12. So this is going to be something over 12 minus something over 12. I multiply 4 by 3 to get 12. So I'm going to multiply my numerator by 3, giving me 3 over 12. Minus, I multiply 6 by 2. So I'm going to multiply my numerator by 2, giving me 2 over 12. So now I've got 1 over 12, or 3 over 12 minus 2 over 12, which gives me 1 over 12. 
I can't simplify that any further, so I'm done with that question. So that's what we should have got for question C. Then question D, we've got two-fifths minus a third in brackets divided by one-fifth. And I'm going to give you one minute to work on this question. Okay, so let's go through that question. So over here, we had two-fifths minus a third in brackets divided by one-fifth. There's no mixed numbers to change, so I can go straight on to bed mass. Inside the brackets, I've got subtraction that I need to do. So remember, when we were doing subtraction of fractions, we need to find the LCD. So this is going to be 15 for my LCD over here. So I need to have something over 15 minus something over 15. I multiply that by 3, so that gives me 2 times 3 is 6 over 15. Then I multiply this by 5, so it's going to be 1 times 5, which is 5 over 15, divided by 1 over 5. Okay, my next step is going to be to simplify that. 6 over 15 minus 5 over 15 gives me something over 15. Remember, I don't change the denominator. I subtract the, the numerators, so 6 minus 5 is 1. So I've got 1 over 15 divided by 1 over 5. My next step... Now I can go on to my division and multiplication step. In this case, there is division. When I divide fractions, I need to tip in time. So it's going to be 1 over 15 times 5 over 1. Now I need to see what I can simplify. 5 goes in there once, 5 goes in there three times. And that leaves me with 1 times 1 at the in the numerator over 3 times 1, which is 3. So that's what you should have got for question D. Right, then question E. We have got 3 and 2 thirds times 3 fifths minus 2 and a quarter. I'm going to give you two minutes to work on this question. Okay, so let's go through that example. So here we had 3 and 2 thirds, which we need to change to an improper fraction. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. So that's going to be 11 over 3 times 
3 over 5 minus, we also need to change this to an improper fraction, 2 times 4 is 9 plus 1 is, or 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9, giving me 9 over 4. Okay, so now I'm going to go and do my next step, which is starting with bed mass. Now there's no brackets to worry about, there's no exponents to worry about, so I can go on to my division and multiplication step. I've got multiplication over here, I can go straight ahead and find what cancels. 3 goes in there once, 3 goes in there once. I can't simplify anything with the 11 and the 5. So that leaves me with 11 times 1, which is 11, over 1 times 5, which is 5, minus 9 over 4. Now I'm going to go and do the last step of bed mass, which is addition and subtraction. I've got subtraction over here, where I'm subtracting fractions. I need to find the LCD, which in this case is going to be 20. So I've got something over 20 minus something over 20. I need to multiply this by 4. That means that I multiply 11 by 4, giving me 44 over 20, minus, multiply this by 5, so I need to multiply the 9 by 5, giving me 45. So I've got 44 minus 45 over 20. That gives me negative 1 over 20, which you can't simplify any further, so that's done for that question. So for question E, you should have got negative 1 over 20. And then the last question for today is question F. Here we've got 2.5 squared divided by 3 quarters squared times, in brackets, 1 and a quarter minus 1 and a tenth. I'm going to give you three minutes to work on this question. Okay, so let's go through that last question for today. So we've got, first of all, to change our mixed numbers to improper fractions. So I've got over here two and a half. Two times two is four plus one is five. So that's going to be five over two squared divided by three quarters stays as it is, squared times. But over here, I've got one and a quarter 
1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5 over 4, minus 1 times 10 is 10, plus 1 is 11 over 10. Okay, so now I've done my changing from mixed numbers to improper fractions. Now I can go on to bed mass. Bed mass says the next thing I must do is anything that's inside brackets that needs to be calculated. There's nothing inside these brackets that needs to be calculated. There's nothing inside these brackets that needs to be calculated. But inside these brackets, I have got some fractions that are being subtracted. So I need to simplify that. So I've got 5 over 4 minus 11 over 10. So everything else is going to stay as it is for now. Okay, so now over here, I need to find my LCD. The LCD for 4 and 10 is going to be 20. So I've got something over 20 minus something over 20. I need to multiply that by 5 to get 20. So I need to multiply the 5 by 5 as well, giving me 25. Then over here, I need to multiply the 10 by 2. So I'm going to multiply the 11 by 2, giving me 22 over 20. So now I'm going to simplify that. Everything else still stays the same. Over here, I now I'm going to simplify my fractions that are being subtracted. They already have the same denominator now. So the denominator stays the same, but I've got 25 minus 22, which gives me negative 3. Oh, which gives me 3, not negative 3, which gives me 3. Okay, so now I'm going to go and do the next step in bed mass, which is exponents. So I'm going to simplify that exponent and that exponent. So 25, or 5 squared is 25 over 2 squared, which is 4 divided by 3 squared is 9 over 4 squared, which is 16, times 3 over 20. Okay, so now I've got no exponents left. Now I'm going to go on to my division and multiplication step. When I'm dividing and multiplying fractions, I need to make sure if there's any division, I need to tip in times. So that's going to change to 25, or tw yes, 25 over 4 times, and I tip this over, giving me 16 over 9. This one is going to stay as it is because it is not being divided, it's being times, so it stays times 3 over 20. And then I can go and find any common factors that I can cancel out in the numerators and denominators. So over here I have got 4 and 16. 4 goes in there once, 4 goes in there 4 times. Here, 25 and 20, 5 goes in there 5 times, 5 goes in there 4 times. And then these two 4s that I've got, I can now cancel out 4 goes in there once and 4 goes in there once. And then 3 goes in there once, and 3 goes in there 3 times. So in my numerators, I've got 5 times 1 times 1. And that leaves me with 5 in the numerator over, in the denominator, 1 times 3 times 3 is 3. So for that question, you should have got 5 over 3. And that is how we calculate problems with common fractions involving mixed operations. Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.